you want to get straight to Chimp Crazy? Yes. Oh, yes. my gosh. Uh, Just because it's a good segue from here. What a wild show, though. It's by, it's a documentary. This one is on Max. Mm -hmm. It's by the creators of Tiger, Tiger King. King that we all watched mm -hmm. during the Rona. Yep. That and Frozen 2. That's all we did. I know. It was all we months. could do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I think that having crazy in the title was very appropriate because, frankly, I I don't think that you can be fully sane and choose to own a chimp. I don't think so either. It's terrifying. And what I learned from the documentary is especially after a certain age. Right. When they hit their adolescence, and I don't know where that is. Mm -hmm. um, I think and, it was usually about 13 years old. So well, it was like their adulthood, but like... um. It'd be when they were about how, 13 years old. But is, is that in human years or chimp years? It, it was 13 human years, and that's when it became more problematic. I would think that they, because they have shorter life, lifespans, right. their adolescence would be earlier. Well, you know, maybe I'm misremembering. I could be. Let, we'll chalk it up to not knowing, but yeah. at that point, mm -hmm. they become terrifying. Yeah, right. Well, and not only that, but they're not bigger than us but they are a lot stronger yeah you know you've heard the phrase chimpanzee strength right right and they've got it yeah i i don't really get exactly how the mechanics of that work uh, that sounds so stupid to say um but realistically like even though they're a lot smaller they they seem to be a lot more dense and a lot more powerful i would think that a 200 pound man could go hand to hand with a 200 pound chimp, but it doesn't sound like that's the case at all. Or a 200 pound man could go up against a 100 pound chimp. Something like that, yeah. Well, you know, I would think, I'm just oh, saying, sure, I would easy. think that you'd be able to do that because they'd be evenly matched weight wise, but apparently, no. But they've got that strength and right. they've got those uh, fangs. fangs. Mm -hmm. Yikes. Mm -hmm. Well, and also, I think that there's probably a little bit of um, withholding on a human side. You know, like you right, might not be as willing to just go full throttle. And I almost wonder that. I, I have had a, a couple times in my life I've found strength mm -hmm. that surprised even me. Right. Same. Uh, and I thought, whoa, where did where did that come from? Yes. You've heard stories of like, I, when of I like was moms growing up, lifting cars off of their babies and stuff. When I was growing up, right. it was a six-year-old kid who was around his dad working under a car. Mm -hmm. The car fell off the jack and the six-year-old kid was able to... Oh, wow. You, know, you hear stuff mm. like that. Yeah. But and and I don't know if the chimps just have that same thing but their trigger is set lower. Yeah, something. Anyway, it's an easy watch. It's only 4 episodes. Mm -hmm. And they Okay, so I listened to the documentary filmmakers talk about the process. Mm -hmm. And for like the first year and a half, they're just taping stuff. They don't know where it's going. Right. And then other stories develop and they see that, okay, this is where the story is. This mm -hmm. is what we're going to follow. So it's mainly a story about Tonka, uh -huh. a pretty famous chimp who's been in a lot of Hollywood productions. Yeah, including Buddy. Okay. Which was a 90s film, I believe. And uh, I, I wonder, was he the chimp in Nope? I mean, you remember. Ooh. So the Jordan Peele uh -huh. film Nope starts with a rather unpleasant scene involving a family TV sitcom. With a chimp. Interesting. And the chimp goes crazy on the set. Huh. Gordy, I think his name was. Interesting. I don't know because I haven't seen Nope. Okay. Yeah, although I should totally watch Maybe that. Maybe we should watch that. I would love that. <laughs> I don't I don't really have an unreasonable fear, but I think I'm going to add chimps to, you know, I don't like zombies and I don't like hillbillies. Mm -hmm. Right. Because those are two things you can't really reason with, mm -hmm. you know? Or the hills have yeah. eyes type hillbillies. Right, right. Is what yeah. I'm talking about. Like yeah. generations of inbreeding and just <laughs> out of their heads. Right, right. I think I'm going to add chimps to that list. I would agree. Absolutely. But they talk yeah. about not only Tonka and there's, well, I don't want to spoil anything, but that's one story. Mm -hmm. But they also talk about Travis the chimp that mm -hmm. ripped off the lady's face. Yes. Famously. And uh -huh. then Buck the chimp who... Uh, did he, something similar. Yeah. So I thought it was really interesting how they basically did sort of um, these, uh, the way that they structured the episodes basically was that they would talk about infamous chimp attacks and then they'd also be following the story of Tonka sort of as an A-line. Yeah, they so like sort an of a -line, B -line intertwined, thing. yeah. Yeah. I was sort of wondering if Tonka was going to have a moment where he attacked someone. I was wondering too. You know, um, because of how they were setting it up. But I think really what they were trying to do was just illustrate how 
dangerous it is to choose to keep these animals, especially in the way that a lot of the folks were were keeping them, which I don't get, especially because like they're not that cute. <laughs> they don't seem very cuddly and they throw their own poop. They fling poo. Like that seems like the worst pet. Yeah. I mean, maybe if you're really rich this and you needs have to go to good to go, <laughs> right? If you're really rich and you have a, a maid that you just hate, you know, and you want to make her life hell, then I can, then I can understand having a chimp. What was Michael Jackson's chimp? Bubbles? Oh, I don't remember. The bubbles? Yeah. Uh. Well, and was it a chimp or was it one of those little black and white monkeys? I don't know. I don't know. I think it was a chimp. Yeah. He didn't rip off MJ's face. Um, well, did that he really the, need to? That was the plastic surgeon's <laughs> job. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the biggest I would go would we be one of those little... We are terrible people. <laughs> yeah. I, I, here's the thing. I would never own a monkey, but if I did, the biggest I would go would be one of those little black and white ones, like yeah. uh, what Ross had on Friends. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. Those, That's about it. That thing had fangs, too, though, oh, from yeah. what I remember, did it uh -huh. not? Oh, yeah, they absolutely do. Yeah. Yep, they have some pretty pronounced canines. <laughs>